Oh my gosh, it's back! It's literally back! You may be thinking, what does it mean it's back? Why does it say review on a movie that's 20 plus years old? Haven't most of us already seen it? Don't we already know what we think of it? <laughs> Let me tell you something, my friend. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is back in theaters. I got to watch the first Lord of the Rings movie last night in theaters. And if you're someone who wanted to yesterday but couldn't, thinking, oh wait, does that mean I missed out? No, my friend. You watch till the end of this video and you will find out exactly when to watch the full trilogy in order, yeah! And here's my quick review on this movie. When it first came out, I was like three, four years old, so I couldn't do it back then. So you understand why I'm doing it now, especially perfect timing now that it's back in theaters. By the way, they're playing the extended version of the trilogy in theaters, which I love. Oh, what a great movie. I love the story. I love the journey that the characters go on and the struggles and how hard it is to try and get to the destination that they want to. The action is great. There is one action scene, a part of one action scene of this fight that like for 5-10 seconds I didn't necessarily like and it's not that the fight itself was bad, it's just the way it was portrayed. The characters in this movie were great, they all served their purpose well, the screen time for each character is understandable and is spread out nicely with the main characters. There might be a couple characters or a few of them that you're like, oh I really like, I wish we got more of but you understand at the same time why we only got a certain amount, which was a good certain amount because of what happens in the movie. The extended version that I watched last night is three hours and 48 minutes long, which you might think, damn, that's long, which that is long, but we all knew before watching the movie that it's the extended version, which I'm really happy that it's the extended version. And there's a couple moments in the movie that might feel a little long, but not in a bad way, but after watching the movie, I felt perfectly fine. Overall, great movie. I will give it like a 9.4, 9.5 out of 10, and now's the perfect time to watch the trilogy which speaking of perfect timing now it's time to tell you the next dates so you can watch the trilogy in order you still have a chance to watch the first movie on june 10th 13th and june 22nd the second movie in the trilogy june 9th and june 11th and june 15 16 and 23 you can watch the third movie in the trilogy on june 9th June 11th and 12th, and June 16th and 24th. Keep in mind the screenshots I showed you is for Cineplex theaters and only for a certain amount, not all of them. So if your local theater or the one near you is not Cineplex, please search up to try to find out which dates it's showing. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be the same dates as I showed you. What would you rate the first Lord of the Rings movie out of 10? Thank you for watching and hope you have a nice day. You shall not pass!